32 gig RAM kit that cost $110 at the start of the year. Now it's $442. That's not a price bump. That's a complete market collapse. So here's what nobody's talking about. Three companies that make up almost all the world's memory just decided to shift their entire production away from consumer computers. They're chasing AI data centers like everybody else. And instead, and what's happening right now is that it's going to ripple through every device you own, from your gaming PC to your phone to your laptop, all of it. It's all going to be impacted. So I've watched supply chains get disrupted before. Manufacturers make terrible decisions and entire markets get flipped on their head. But I haven't seen anything quite like this. This is pretty crazy. Today, I'm going to break down the RAM price crisis and what caused it, why it's going to get worse, and what this actually means for you. Let's dive into this today. Welcome to Startup Pack. I'm Spencer, and here at Startup Pack, we love to build custom software solutions for companies. With over a decade of executive leadership as a fractional CTO and 25 years in software development, I've mastered transforming tech teams and products. All right, so memory prices have gone absolutely berserk, and this isn't a temporary supply chain noise. This is a structural shift in how companies produce and allocate resources. It's going to affect everything, and I want to walk you through exactly what's going on and what you can do to make some plans around this. Now, uh, Sherwood is reporting here, Micron up my memory price spike. So memory and storage maker Micron has had a healthy run with shares doubling 85% over the last three months, thanks in part to spiking prices for its core DRAM production and the AI investment. In a note last week, city ana analysts up to their target for the shares from to $300 from $275, saying they predict good things for the company's December 17th earnings. We expect the company to post result guidance significantly above the consensus driven by unprecedented increase in DRAM pricing as DRAM pricing should increase 50% Q, uh, Q, uh, quarter over quarter uh, Q4 of 2025. Look at this run up, right? As the chart shows, it's a pretty remarkable move in price for dynamic RAM access memory or DRAM. City analysts estimate the DRAM sales account for roughly 79% of Micron's revenue. Now, the ubiquitous short-term data solution storage chips using computers and phones have long been considered something a low-priced commodity product. So meaning this hasn't really been a big driver in what, what makes a computer cost a lot. But they've noticed that this has definitely gone up, and now they're starting to feel that impact for it. So let's take a look at some of these, and I'm going to get my head out of the way here so you can see all of these graphs really quick. Everything, every single thing. So 2 by 8 gig, up. Two, uh, more 2 by 8 gig, up, up. Uh, you see all of the pr price trending. And so these are people that track the price of RAM. So we can see it, it's all going up. Like this has been crazy. And it started to level off just in the last couple of weeks, but level off at a crazy new high level, something that is over 300 times what it cost just a few months ago. So let's dive into this article. What's driving SD and RAM stick prices to the moon? So, uh, uh, so they're talking about here. Okay, so the prices are nowhere near what I had paid for in 2024 because he's talking about how he had to build out some RAM for his computer. This sudden price spike was abnormal and reminded me of the crypto mining era when GPU prices ballooned, breaking the hearts of all PC gamers. I remember having friends call me and be like, hey, how do I get a, you know, a graphics card? Because you simply couldn't get them while during the crypto boom. Um, and so, uh, you know, this price hike isn't unlike, uh, isn't limited to SDs, even RAM sticks have doubled in price. Um, in fact, things aren't looking better for the manufacturer side either because most of the memory hardware we see and use today are made by three major companies, Samsung, SK Hynix, and Micron. And almost all of them have hiked the prices of memory sticks by a minimum of 30% in the last few months. And as you can see from those graphs, it's a lot more than 30%, right? These are crazy graphs. Now, all around the world, these firms are setting up data centers, and that means hardware, lots of it, GPUs, coolants, and, of course, RAM and storage drives. All these companies have placed massive orders of DRAM and NAND chips. Now, this has become a literal frenzy, and suppliers don't have enough to match the demand. So RAM shortage chaos. Computer memory now costs more than gold, and it's sold like lobster, right? So uh, the shortage stems from artificial intelligence companies consuming massive amounts of memory chips for data centers. These manufacturers control approximately 70% of the global DRM production, creating a huge monopoly and dictate the price of shortage. Samsung raised memory price by 60% between September and November. A 32, gig, uh, 32 gigabytes of DDR5 module jumped from 149 to 239 in just two months. So we can see more than a 50% price increase for 16 gigrams, right? So 
you know, AI spending is expected to reach $2 trillion and they are gobbling up all of the RAM. So what does this mean for you and what can you do about it? Well, there's not much because even cloud giants like Google, Microsoft, Amazon, and others are locking in multi-year contracts for memory, basically buying up any available supply before anyone else can get it. So a single four gig module of embedded memory that developers need for embedded systems now costs uh, $35. That's more expensive than some entire circuit boards. So consumer applications like PC games, laptops, and single board computers like Raspberry Pis get whatever's left over, if anything. This structure means there's no real competition forcing price down. It's just those three companies deciding where to point the production lines. Now, Samsung and SK Hynix aren't just reducing DDR4 production. They're killing it outright. Micron literally announced that they're abandoning the consumer memory uh, business entirely to focus on AI. This means crucial brand RAM which a lot of people bought for years is gone. No more consumer options for Micron. DDR4 prices have surged 40 to 45% in the second half of 2025 as production contracts. This is particularly brutal for embedded systems, industrial equipment, and edge devices that still rely on DDR4 RAM. Luckily, I just made a huge purchase for clean routers, so we have a ton of routers in stock, or else this is definitely going to impact me when I start getting to sell routers next year. So embedded systems like that, uh, you can see some of the embedded systems up here on my shelf, right? That board right there. Um, these ones here have a bunch of embedded, uh, a bunch of embedded chips on them. So companies like Raspberry Pi, which build single board computers for makers and developers, had to raise their prices by ten dollars per unit, which is almost a thirty percent price increase, just to absorb the memory cost increases. Legacy systems that can't upgrade to DDR5 are now faced with impossible choices: either pay a premium price for end of life components that use DDR4 or redesign your board and your chips to handle DDR5. The smaller the company building these devices, the worse the hit. You don't have the leverage to negotiate contracts like Google or Microsoft does. Now, DDR5 kits that were $150 in the mid-2025s are now going for $400 to $500. The top-end 64-gigabyte DDR modules are literally $750, up from around $200 just months earlier. So this isn't gradual inflation. Contract prices jumped 80 to 100% month over month in December of 2025 alone. Um, now, retailers literally capped the quantity of RAM customers could buy because supply was so constrained. Some lops, shops are limiting people to one or two purchases uh, units per, two, per purchase. A standard 32 gigabyte Corsair DDR5 6000 kit quadrupled in price in less than a year. That's not sustainable for anyone building systems. So gaming PC builders got hit hard because DDR5 adoption is accelerating right when prices peak. So even high-end configurations are seeing massive spikes. The faster the memory, the worse the price increase. Now, honestly, this is stuff that I love to talk about. Make sure you drop a comment down below because the best compliment you can give me is when you leave a comment. I love to, love to see them all, and I read them all personally. So that's the best compliment you can give me. Now, SK Hynix just reported its highest ever quarterly revenue at, in Q3 of 2025, directly credited to full-scale rise in price of DRAM and, and, and NAND. They're not raising prices because they have to. They're raising prices because they can. Samsung, Samsung, SK Hynix, and Micron have been bleeding money during the last oversupply over cycle, but now they've flipped the switch completely, and they're squeezing every dollar out of that shortage. So multiple manufacturers are demanding 30% higher contract prices from their consumers. These aren't suggestions. These are take-it-or-leave-it offers. The companies that absorb these costs front-loaded their purchases with only accelerate the shortage and make price shoot higher. Now, distributors are depleting their stockpiles of RAM from earlier this year. Once those buffers run out in Q1 and Q2 of 2026, availability is going to get genuinely difficult regardless of price. So new production capacity takes years to build, and no major manufacturers are now announcing significant new capacity specifically for consumer memory. The shortage is hitting all memory categories simultaneously. DRAM, NAND flash, and even hard disk drives are all in short supply for the first time in 30 years. Now, if you're running a small hardware startup or building embedded systems like we are here with CleanRouter and then also doing a lot of our AI work here, as you can see behind me, this is going to definitely hit us, right? So companies like Libra Computing and Lenovo are stockpiling RAM, literally hoarding it to not let people have it. Even frameworks which make, make upgrade-friendly laptops stop selling standalone RAM and warned of massive price increase coming. Now, smartphones are also facing the same memory constraints. Major phone manufacturers announced consumers will see sizable rises in production retail prices. Laptops are next. Every laptop vendor is being warned that component costs are rising at unprecedented rates. 
RAM was never really the big hit on these on these laptops, and now suddenly it's one of the big questions. Graphics cards are getting squeezed because VRAM uses the same manufacturing capacity as system RAM. NVIDIA stopped building bundling memory with GPU dies to board partners, forcing them to source VRAM independently during the shortage. AMD raised GPU prices by thirty plus dollars depending on VRAM configurations. That's going to cascade through the entire GPU market. So data center operators are shocked at how expensive memory has become on their own infrastructure. Samsung is char- charging cloud providers 30% premium on their server memories. Now, Raspberry Pi had to increase its prices by over $10. They had stockpiled memory ahead of time, but they're still getting crushed as this pile do- as this cost doubles. DDR4, which embedded system rely on, practically disappeared from production. Industrial equipment built on mature DDR4 platforms is now fa- facing end-of-life supply chain problems. So this is going to force developers and hardware designers to make difficult trade-offs, use older architecture or more memory available, or wait months and pay premium. Luckily here for us on our AI project, we're working on taking old hardware and making it really efficient. And this is doing some pretty incredible things on our AI project, but also on top of that, it's allowing me to stay away from some of these price gouges. Now, motherboard sales are down 50% because the total system cost has become prohibitive. People are not building new systems with memory because how much memory costs right now. So the entire PC ecosystem is in a holding pattern waiting for either supply to improve or demand to collapse under the weight of the high prices. So overall, we're going to see a lot of things shifting. Cloud providers like Google, Microsoft, and Amazon are securing allocations for 2026 and 2027, but this locks up supply for the down, downstream folks. NVIDIA stopped bundling. A lot of other things are going to happen, and we're going to see a lot of that hit us. So you're going to want to make sure your applications are running more efficiently because your machines are going to, need, are going to have to work without less RAM. RAM upgrades are going to become a thing. I've already started to see this uh, creep into cloud prices. So you're going to see more and more of that. So you're going to want to work to make your applications more efficient. Curious to hear what else you guys are doing to try to fight this. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys are doing to do this. But I genuinely want to hear from you guys. Are you guys upgrading? Are you postponing? Are you holding off? Let me know. Here at Startup Pack, we love to build custom software solutions for companies. So reach out if we can help. Check out startuppack.com slash Spencer. And here's some great information about our services. Hi, I'm Spencer, a fractional CTO. With over a decade of executive leadership and 25 years in software development, I've transformed technology teams and products for businesses just like yours. As you are fractional CTO, you get the strategic guidance of a seasoned technology executive without the full-time commitment. Perfect for companies ready to leverage cutting-edge technology without expanding headcount. My team at Startup Hack has already built advanced AI agents for small and medium businesses, automating complex workflows and delivering advanced ROI to human workflows. We specialize in creating custom software that connects your systems into a single coherent technology ecosystem. Our development approach focuses on tangible business outcomes. For one client, we developed AI-powered workflows that cut days off of human processes. For another company, by connecting multiple systems, we reduce processing time to increase their ROI by over 75%. We don't just write code, we architect solutions that scale. Whether you need cloud system architecture, data integration between legacy systems, or custom AI agents that automate your unique business processes, my team delivers results that exceed your expectations. Having led technology for a lot of companies and launched seven successful brands of my own, I bring battle-tested expertise to your business challenges. Our specialty is turning technological complexity into business advantage. So if you're ready to harness the power of AI and custom software to drive your business forward, let's connect. Together, we'll build technology that doesn't just solve today's problems. It positions you for tomorrow's opportunities. Technology leadership, decades of experience, AI powered. Reach out today and we can help you. Check out startuppack.com slash Spencer.